and is a main driving force behind the plans for the demonstration when the Tories come to Manchester. So I'd like to give a warm welcome to Amin Hadi from Unison. Thank you. Um, I just saw uh, Boris Johnson step out uh, into the steps, the steps of Downing Street just uh, 15 minutes ago. And all you could hear in the background was stop the coup, stop the coup, stop the coup. Now, in, belief, in between his bumbling speech, no one seemed to pay much attention to what actually he was saying. But even Laura Coonsberg afterwards said that Tory ministers are briefing that the general election is likely to be on the 14th of October. Uh, clearly, he's got no mandate to do what he does. He had no mandate when a bunch of Tories uh, elected him, and very few of them there were too. He has no mandate to impose anything on this country, and he definitely has no mandate to withdraw Parliament and create a coup. And we have to call it a coup, and we have to make sure everyone knows that he's gone against democracy, whether you voted for Remain or you voted to leave. Or stay. It doesn't matter. Together we actually have to call it out as what it is. It's a move against democracy and the coup. Now, we wondered how we'd unite both sides of that debate, but obviously Boris has done it for us. So now we have to move on to the next thing, really, because there are going to be a few weeks to make sure that we get rid of these Tories once and for all. The 10 years of austerity they've inflicted on us, the, the millions that are in food banks, the millions that are homeless in our streets, all the degradation that he's caused, the racism he's caused. Don't know why people caught the article today about Tell Mama and the amount of increase in racist attacks caused by his article calling the Muslim women letterboxes for wearing the burqa and saying he's got things against Muslims. All these things that led to hate crime and it wasn't soon after, unfortunately, we had the events in Christchurch. So there's a link between politicians like Boris Johnson and Donald Trump and what happens in the real world. But Manchester and the North West and Britain gave a resounding no to Donald Trump. We will now give a resounding no to the politics of Boris Johnson. And we need to do that together, all of us together. Some will be the forefront of mobilising people onto the streets in the weeks to come. We cannot let him get away with what he's done. There are thousands in Manchester on Saturday protest. There's more of you here today. We need to keep mobilising people right the way up until the general election. We cannot leave the streets until we get rid of this Tory government once and for all. On the, on the 20th, there is a climate strike. School students are striking about our climate. What a surprise that Boris is a climate denier along with Donald Trump and doing nothing about it. We have to be supporting those school students in every way possible. I know that our council and I know others have called the climate emergency, but we also need to be out in the streets with them that afternoon and to join them in the streets of Manchester saying no to them destroying our planet and putting profits before the planet as a whole. Unison will put every energy to making sure the demonstration at Tory party conference is as big as it possibly can be. We need to make sure we block every street in the lead up to Manchester so the Tories aren't cutting and discuss whatever few Tories manage to turn up to Boris's funeral. And we need to make sure it's Boris's funeral. We need to make sure it's the final days of the Tory rule. And we need to make sure that we are the many, they're the few, we all win, and we stand together. Thank you. Yeah.